Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Pray God will bless you today as you walk through life. And he'll bless you and just cause us to have a great day today. And you know, we can do that if we live for the Lord. Because he promised to bless us and to help us. He sent the Holy Spirit to guide and direct us, to strengthen us, to help us in our times of need. So today, let's do our part. Let's enjoy life. Whether we're at work, whether we're at home, whether we're retired, whatever the case may be, let's make sure today that we enjoy life. I want you to look at Ecclesiastes chapter 2. That's what I want to talk about here. In chapter 2, verse 24 and 25, it said, There is nothing better for a man than that he should eat and drink and that he should make his soul enjoy good in his labor. This also I saw that it was from the hand of God. And verse 5 says, For who can eat or who else can hasten hereunto more than I? The first part of 26 says, For God giveth to a man that is good in his sight, wisdom and knowledge and joy. He gives that to us today, folks, as a child of his, that we can enjoy life. And, you know, there's going to be bad days. There's going to be good days. There's going to be days when things don't go our way. But in the midst of all this, we can still have the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. And, you know, most times when things go uh, against what we were hoping and don't work out the way we were hoping, there is usually more good than bad. There's more positive than negative, And that's in the life of a child of God. We learn quickly in life that things don't always go our way. But there's a reason. Maybe it's to help us learn something. Maybe it's to teach us something. Maybe it was not meant to be in our life. The author here says he reaches two conclusions. Eating, drinking, and working, in fact, all activities in life can bring satisfaction only if one has a personal relationship with God. And that is so true today. My friend, if you're a child of God today, you have God's blessings in your life and on your life. God wants to have a great relationship with us. And through that relationship, he blesses us with the job. He blesses us in life with our family. And he gives us those days when everything is just so great because God loves his children. My friend, if you don't know God as your Lord and Savior today, those blessings are not upon you. Because you see, he only hears the prayer from a sinner of repentance. But a child of God, the Bible says, his ears are ever listening and his eyes are upon us. It says, God gives true wisdom, knowledge, and joy to those who in faith please him. Thus, we should see life as a gift from God and look to him to work out his purpose for our life. Life is a gift from God. And I'm so thankful for that today. So are we taking what he's given us, the, 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 the talent, the skill, the blessings, and using it for his kingdom, using it for his church, using what he's given us and blessed us with to help touch the life of somebody else that may be in need? If you look over in verse chapter 3, right right, here, right the next verse chapter over in verse 12 and 13, he said, I know that there is no good in them but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life, and also that every man should eat, drink, and enjoy the good of his laborer. It is the gift of God. There's, a, there's, there's almost the same wording one chapter over that what we have today, what we have blessed, been blessed with today is a gift of God. It's not exactly all that what we've done. We've had to do our part, but God steps in and does his part, and that is he blesses his children today. So in the morning when we get up, let's begin our prayer with a praise to God for his many blessings that he's given to us in our life today, and then move on in our prayer. But let our first part of our prayer be to thank him for what he has blessed us with. Lord, we thank you today for your many blessings that you extend to your children every day. Lord, we know today without you, we cannot accomplish anything. But in your word, it says in Jesus Christ, all things are possible. And Lord, we can hold you true to that because you, when you're promised something, Lord, you do it and you follow up with it. God, we love you. We thank you for all your blessings. And may we be found living a life that will in turn bless you and touch the hearts of others. We ask these things today in Jesus name. Amen.
May God richly bless you today is my prayer.